Jeff. Here's some results for you. On the right is my circuit that is an oscillator that's just making pulses to simulate your switch. On the left is the actual circuit that I have made. And then here on the screen you can see the blue trace, which is my oscillator, which I'm using as a trigger. And every time it goes low, it is triggering the timer chip. And so what you see with the yellow trace is uh, the period where the signal is high is when it's actually driving the output. Now in this case, I'm just using it to drive an LED, so it's not very interesting. So here if we look at the circuit, the actual timing circuit is on the lower left. It's a little chip there, black chip. You can see the little adjustable potentiometer just above it, the gold little screw head. And then just above that is the uh, output driver. This is a, a high current switch. But before you get to the connector is a diode that is used to protect the circuit when you're driving something like a solenoid valve. Uh, when you turn off a solenoid valve, there's a current that wants to run backwards and can damage the circuit, so that's what the diode is for. So let's see if I can show you how it works. So here what I want to do is adjust the D on period, and here I will turn, so here you can see I've turned it so that it has increased the period of time that it's on, and here the total period that it's on has decreased. So if we look at the pulses on the bottom, those are about 10 millisecond pulses. Right now the trace on the top is a little bit over uh, 40, about 45 milliseconds is how long it's on. So if we wanted to go out to about 50 milliseconds, and here we are, or if we want to go down to a shorter period. Let's see if I can get this turned. on period is, oh, about 30 milliseconds. I can go even shorter. It's hard to do this one-handed. So there it's on about 20 milliseconds. If we look over the light. So, this circuit is one that uh, I now have all of the parts to make this uh, in larger numbers. I've got plenty of circuit board that I can work with. I've got all the connectors, uh, and I have a little box to put it in. So, uh, I think I have enough to make a about 20 of these. I may have burned out one or two pieces, but on the order of 20 of them should be possible. So, anyway, that's the story from Andy's lab. Talk to you later.